of a fire ran into the city and the fire was massive and the other side of the city and thought, okay, you know, there, there could be trouble here. So uh, he decided to open a new establishment in New Westminster. And he was making plans to relocate his stock to the, the New Westminster store. Uh, three weeks previous to the fire, uh, an insurance policy of $10,000 had expired on all his stock here. But he hadn't got around to, to making this move to New Westminster as of yet. So he managed to get $650 worth of goods from his store down to the waterfront, but the rest of it burned to the ground. The store collapsed, missing him, and according to him, by about 50 feet. And uh, he managed to leap aboard a canoe and paddle to safety, but he lost everything. Now, slightly west of this location is, is the, the location of uh, the Sullivan's store. So Arthur and Sullivan, uh, uh, Josephine and Sullivan, they were another uh, mother-son team that operated a business in Vancouver and uh, had been going for, for a number of months. And uh, Arthur's recollection was, about 1.30, a number of boys asked me to give them a sail in my yacht to get away from the thick smoke. We went over to the North Shore Mission and met with some Indians. We said, Gastown is on fire. I made the fastest trip ever back across the inlet. On the way, I saw my building and everything I owned in flames. We were in constant danger of being sunk by the gale, and we were all soaking wet. It appeared to me that there was a continuous sheet of flame for a flock in the distance. We waited for half an hour on the board, then I started down Carroll Street to go to Falls Creek in search of my mother and brother. I jumped over the body of Mr. Fawcett at Carroll and Cordova. So we'll, we'll revisit Mr. Fawcett a little bit later. Now, as I mentioned before, much of this section of Water Street West Beach in 1886. There was a business located very close to here called Ma Chong's Laundry. It was a Chinese laundry business here on Water Street, and they used to string their laundry lines along the beach. So that, you know, they, they did a lot of business for the hotels. There would have been bedding and tablecloths, and they would string them out along the beach in, in long lines. Unfortunately, I don't have any records of this family since escape. They did escape the fire, but nothing's been written about. But there's a very, very colorful picture of them. I don't have it here, but to, if you're ever uh, searching archives photos, you can see the picture of Wachong's establishment before the fire. It's one of the best known pictures, I think, of the a Vancouver business taken before the fire. Okay, so now...